Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's my first ever flat tyre. Fuck knows how that works as well. Got a lot of things we can talk about today as well. Um, interesting things. It was going well until we came back from shopping and uh, realised that we got no thingy. So, we're at petrol forecourt now. We're waiting for the AA to come because I'm a pleb. I don't know how to change a tyre. I just rung Josh as well. He's not answering the phone. God damn it. Also, if you look or sound different to normal, there's a reason for that. Um, you're a different camera. But we'll talk about that later when we get home safe and sound, I think. And there we go, we're back home. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the day of the video, Darren. How's it good today? Today, we have had quite an interesting day. It's been quite entertaining. Um, we've been out and about, doing lots and lots of different things. That's a lie. Um, but two different things have happened today. So we'll start from the top, shall we? The first thing that's happened today is that, um, well, no, okay. So we got, uh, we got up early-ish. Did we get up early? Not really. Um, we got up, it's bank holiday Monday today, by the way. Um, so we got up, had like a nice chilled out morning, had a nice chilled out like breakfast and stuff. Um, and then we looked up at the time, we were watching like Jeremy Kyle and Homes Under the Hammer, all that kind of good um, <laughs> bank holiday Monday TV. Um, and then we realized what time it was and then kind of realized that we had to go off and sort out, um, get ready and stuff. So we got ready, got dressed, sorted out my daily vlog, I then looked into that thing that I looked into. What did I look into? Upload a data vlog. Then, oh no, and then we just sorted out like our shopping list and stuff. Um, for, because we have to go food shopping on Mondays. It's bank holiday, so they closed early. So we, what we decided to do was wrap it into one trip. I went to uh, Cribs Causeway to go to John Lewis. Um, which is why you are being recorded on a different camera at this precise moment in time. Um, I'm also using a tripod because it's really awkward filming with this camera in just your hand. So I'm trying it with a tripod. I'm doing the classic copy and Casey Neistat style filming with a DSLR. God damn it. But the short of the matter is, I uh, went to John Lewis to go and sort out my camera. I noticed that my other camera, the flash had broken on it. I told you a bit about this yesterday. Um, I noticed that the flash had broken on it. Um, but it's still well within its warranty. It's got like a year of its, it's still within the year of its uh, manufacturer's warranty and it's still within um, two years of like um, John Lewis's customer, um, warranty. So I took it back in and I was like, look, I don't have the receipt. I happen to have a video which I uploaded on the day that I bought the camera. And in that video, the receipt happens to slide into frame. So I was talking to um, Henry, Henry, if you're watching, Hello. Um, <laughs> um, I was talking to Henry, who was really nice. Um, the reason we get, like, it's a good, always a good idea to buy stuff from places like John Lewis is because it's quite easy to, they've got good customer service. The only issue is, obviously, like, the good thing about Amazon is they email you your receipt. So you've always got, unless you delete that email, you've always got the um, proof of purchase. It's a lot more difficult to keep track of a paper receipt. Or what you do is you keep the paper receipt in the box that the camera belongs in, then you don't throw away the box. That's the best idea. Um, I, however, decided to throw away the box. But anyway, uh, yeah, he was really helpful. He went off to go get, like, his manager. They looked, watched this the video of me showing the uh, receipt and stuff, um, and they said, like, oh, if we can get, like, a, a screenshot of that. So I tried to screenshot it on my phone, and you could make out the date and the purchase price and stuff um, in that screenshot. Um, but whenever they printed it, it wouldn't really show out, so they must have not had a very good printer. Um, but, thankfully, they've now sent off my camera, which now means I'm without a camera, so I've got a vlog like this, um, which is ridiculous. It actually occurred to me as well, I took this camera with me so that I could vlog. Um, it actually occurred to me that I do have my old daily vlog camera. So, what I'm going to do, I've got two, two generations of daily vlog camera up here. What I might do is, I'm going to try vlogging like this, for a couple of days, because I don't really need to leave the house much. Um, and if I do leave the house, then I'm going somewhere where like, I can control it. I'm gonna try doing vlogging like this and see if it's okay, see if it's good, see if it works out for me. Um, if it doesn't, then, because obviously I can't take this with me to work. Um, next week, I might downgrade to my more pocket-sized camera and we'll see how things go, basically. Unless this is like, if this turns out to be really not very good for this kind of vlogging, then I'll swap. Uh, to my old daily vlog camera. I've just got to make sure I've got batteries and stuff for it still. I know my old, old camera won't have that, but my new, my second camera should have camera battery and chargers around lying. So, that's all good. Anyway, 
So we left, <laughs> left John Lewis, headed on down to Sainsbury's to go do our shopping. We did our shopping, came out, looked at the car, and the car's got a flat tyre. Um, it's got a big fat nail going through the flat tyre. Um, so what we thought we'd do is we'd ring up a garage. Obviously it's Bank Holiday Monday, so no one's open, are they? Um, but we drove around to the... We rung up a garage, we couldn't get through 21. Because what we were going to do is we were going to like fill it up with air and then just kind of like coast it to wherever it needs to go to get fixed because there's a tyre place up the road in fish ponds. Uh, it's quick fits but quick fits are robin bastards so try and avoid quick fit at <laughs> any opportunity. Um, so we went there, words. So we went there and then we went, it starts recording too quickly. I'm like, um, we went there, I've tried to do it in a different mode now. You might be able to deal with me changing rooms better a little bit. I'm looking at myself in the in the, the squidgy screen. So yeah, so we could we tried to get in touch with some garages, but we couldn't get into anyone that would fix it today, which basically meant that we'd have to put the spare wheel on. So we took it, we parked it up, tried to put the spare wheel on, and I kind of know what I'm doing with the spare. I've never done it myself, but I kind of know what I'm doing. And I'd like found the point which I thought you'd do to jack it up because there's a point on your car where you jack it yourself. Um, but I was wrong. It's a good job I didn't figure out how the jack worked. Because um, I looked into how to start the jack and it made no sense because it's like obviously a little compact one that you put in your car. Um, but I got the spare wheel off the car, all that kind of stuff, rung the AA. So I'm making the most of my AA membership. Um, it's the first time I've used them, so that's good. Um, but nice man came, put a spare tyre on. So tomorrow we'll be heading on out to go get a new tyre, which is going to be exciting. Um, it's not really exciting, but it's uh, something that happened today. Um, so that meant we obviously got delayed coming back, so we came back quite late, had a late lunch, and now we're kind of... <sighs> can't figure out when to have dinner. But that's really about all. I've also gone through photos from Summer Ball, uploaded them to my Facebook. I might upload the same ones, well no, a different a subset to my like Facebook page, so you guys can see. But I might upload um, one to Instagram as well. I don't know. I might put them on my Facebook page and then put one I like, like that isn't thingy, then yeah, anyway. Instagram's a bit different to Facebook, I think. i will like happily put anything on my Facebook page, but Instagram's a bit more special. So we'll see about that. Um, cool. First battle. So that's my update for the day. Um, news, you're really heavy. Compared to my old camera, you are really, really heavy. But also, Henry, if you're watching, you were really good. Um, he was like... He was like, oh, you've got quite a few subscribers, haven't you? Oh, yeah. How's it going? Do you do, like, thinking? I'm like, I do it every day, mate. I do it every day. <laughs> and he's like, oh, that's really cool. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that's interesting. It's also really hot. Really, really hot. Um, have I got anything else to tell you? Is that it? I think it is. So I might migrate into... Um... No, no, yeah, let's sort out Instagram and Facebook. <sighs> God damn it. Um... <laughs> I mean, I am enjoying Instagram though, that is a thing. And then I might take my uh, laptop and go and do some blogging in the living room until we have dinner. We're having um, burgers for dinner. Delish. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll have this bloke here, I've been following us for a long time, it's pretty creepy. But um, otherwise, if you bring out your camera, because you think YOLO, let's take out a camera for fun, basically. <laughs> Just to see how much fun it is to carry a camera this big around. Um, it's quite a commitment, so you've kind of got to. But look, and there's lovely, lovely little part with sunset. Could do a time lapse. Let's just embrace the nice that style completely. Put some music over a time lapse. Yeah, put that up. We don't do that. Also, we're just talking about how the sun isn't setting yet, and it's 25 past 8. Um, that's because in the UK, at this time of the year, it never actually becomes night time. It's always, fun fact of the day, it's always daytime uh, in the UK at summer. It never becomes night. So if you say, if you say to me, oh Jamie, could you uh, take the bin out? Which we did. I'd be like, I'll do it tonight. It buys me three months. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> no, I didn't think that's what, what tonight is defined as. Doesn't it not mean today's night? No, you'd have to... Or does it mean next night? Yeah, but three months time is not today's night either. Today's okay. night just wouldn't exist. Well, it gets me out of it then. 
Or you could just say, yeah, I'll we'll do it do next it night. At, at night time. I'll do it next night. Yeah, night time. So there you go. A Vsauce toy. I didn't know that myself. I just stole that completely. Um, but yeah, that's why the sun is still out at such a ridiculously late time. Low time? Late time. Oh. But I mean, like, the problem with coming out for these lovely walks in the evening, I mean, like, they're lovely and everything. <laughs> but there's no longboard, is there? That's the problem. We need to get you a longboard. No. Leave me alone. I'm gonna get told off for that one now. See? See what I mean about? I say something funny, cut the camera, you can see my arm. I walk past this every now and again on the cycle path, and I have to second look at it every time. I feel like someone's got it in for me or something, you know? And it's time, ladies and gentlemen. It's the evening, we've time jumped, and we are, well, I say we, thinking about heading off to bed. It's midnight now-ish. Uh, Laura went to bed at 11, but I'm not very tired. I'm still not very tired, to be honest. Um, but yeah, what, what's gone down? Um, since I last spoke to you, well we had dinner and stuff and then we went out for that walk um, and then we came back, uh, been chilling, um, Laura's got work tomorrow, um, been doing a bit of laptoping and then otherwise been watching a bit of the old TV and stuff, um, which has been good fun. We had Graham out, which was a whale of a time, but um, she takes a liking to the gorilla pod. She likes to nibble the gorilla pod, which is quite difficult to get in to shot. Um, but it's nice having a screen here, because I can actually uh, frame shots every now and again. Although I did realise, looking back on the footage, that I need to leave, like, I shoot this in manual mode. In fact, what happens if I... Oh, look at that, I can actually change shit. Whoa! Fuck. Jesus Christ, ladies and gentlemen, that's madness. Um, I film in manual mode, um, because that is just the way, oh I can't, oh no, I shouldn't have done that, I've just dabbed that now with the button. Um, I wonder if I can just scroll, don't mind me, I'm just going to see if I can figure out how to work my camera. Um, no, short answer, I can change the uh, frame rate, but I can't change the aperture. I thought I might be, I can change the aperture with my, like, with the dobber. Oh, it goes even more open. Wow. There you go, I just, just close the aperture up. Oh, this is great, this is. Um, anyway, what I was saying was, I film in, um, uh, what's it called, manual mode, um, and I realised that, because I, when I film with the daily vlog, uh, for the main channel, because uh, that's what I use this camera for uh, sometimes, um, I make it basically like the, the frame rate is really long, uh, the shutter speed is really slow, and the aperture is really wide to try and get as much light into the camera as possible, because obviously I'm not moving around, but that doesn't work when you head on outside, so I need to put it back into like more of an auto mode when I'm doing that. Um, but otherwise it's quite, it's quite good fun, I feel like I want to pick up the camera and film more often when I've got this camera, but like I say, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try using this for, for a week, uh, but next week I start work. So it's not, I obviously can't take this to work with me. That would be ridiculous. Um, and like I say, when I took it out with me for a walk, um, I basically couldn't, uh, like, um, what am I going to say? I couldn't um, not. It's like, it's such an inconvenience having to carry you around um, that I couldn't not. It's like I've, I'm forcing myself to vlog. It's brilliant, really. It's quite annoying that also there's no audible beep to tell me it's recording, which is why I'm now going to be like, oh, call me in the beginning of each thing. It's quite annoying that I can't change the um, aperture easily. I was just checking the settings to see if I could um, like reroute that button, basically. Oh, what's that button do? Oh, Christ knows. Goes into, I've uh, just... Oh God, I don't know what that, I don't even know. Oh, that's ISO. That's my ISO button. Whoa! Auto, thank you. <laughs> I'm just pressing buttons. Um, I have noticed though that there is uh, a noise when this auto focuses because it never used to do it. I dropped it once and I've never noticed an issue with this camera since. Not not the whole camera, the lens. Um, but it, I think you can hear that. Wait, you won't be able to hear it because now Graham's talking. But that should now try and focus on my hand. Can you hear that? I don't know. Uh, I don't even know if it's trying. It's really slow, isn't it? Christ on a bike. Mental. Maybe it's trying to do it slowly. Yeah, I know it does when I, before I start filming, um, it like clicks, it goes, 
but when I film on the main channel it's all in manual mode so um, manual focus and stuff. Right, I'm gonna get going ladies and gentlemen. Tomorrow, don't know what we're doing, hopefully we're being productive. It's really warm in here. I can't, I hate the hot weather so much, I'm, I'm so warm. But anyway, I'm gonna get going. I don't know why I'm, I'm out of focus. It's annoying. I'll catch you later.